A L O O O N E one inch punch. Page forty two. Page forty two. There we go. Page forty two. One inch punch. It's all in the wrist. That's it. You know, it just might be crazy enough to welcome back. So if you haven't guessed already, this is the material that I ordered to make our 5C drawbar to match the 5C collet adapter that we made a couple of videos ago. This is inch and three eighths outer diameter by 120 thousandths wall thickness DOM tube. It's also filthy. I have a bit of an interesting plan for this. We are gonna try something that I have never tried before. So let's pop over to the lathe and talk about it. In the interest of full disclosure, I should tell you that my original plan was to simply modify this drawbar by cutting it to the appropriate length, popping off this existing handle, uh, pressing it back on, and then calling it a day. So that was the plan. That sounds like a pretty solid plan. What happened? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. You guys really showed up and supported this channel. I received so many great comments on that original video where we made the collet adapter, and I realized that I owed you more. I owed you more than just chopping an existing drawbar in half and calling it a day. So here we are. There's really only a couple things that we need to do to this bar. We need to cut the internal threads that will thread onto the collet. We will then of course need to cut it down to size to work with the uh, length or depth of this headstock and also put a small radius groove around the outside diameter to work with our adapter thingamajig that we made a few videos ago. So to get started, let's get it dialed in on the forge all here and cut these internal threads. Quick sidebar, we need to talk about the thread that we're going to cut and how we arrived at the dimensions that we're going to be using to cut it. According to the Machinery's Handbook, the 5C collet uses a 1 inch 238 thousandths by 20 right handed external thread. That's this one. I measured it and it checks out. We can use the UNC coarse and fine thread profile to derive the formula that we need to use to determine the correct bore diameter for the matching inside thread. That formula is the major diameter of the outside thread minus 0.625 times the height of the thread multiplied by two because this will give us the radius number. We need to multiply it for the diameter. The height of the thread, according to the same standard, is 0.625. 0.86603 times the pitch. Our pitch, of course, is 0.05 as it's a 20 TPI thread, which gives us 0.043 as our height. Taking all of that information, if we punch it into our calculator,
that gives us one inch 184 thousandths for the bore diameter that we need to cut for the inside thread. I measured the bore diameter across the threads on the existing drawbar that I have and I got one inch 187 thousandths. That's close enough for hand grenades. Let's make a thread. Okay, our bore is all prepped and ready for our thread. We ended up with a pretty nice finish and we are on size at 186 thou. That's just in between the 187 that we measured and the 184 that we derived from our equation. That dimension 186 goes three quarters of an inch deep into the bore and it's followed up by an eighth of an inch of thread relief just behind it. Once again, we will be using a carbide insert to cut the thread. I've got them, so might as well use them. I will be using a dial indicator to tell me when we have reached the correct depth to stop the thread. And because this is a relatively fine pitch thread, we'll be using the cross slide, not the compound, to dial in the depth. let's check our work here surface finishes it's passable certainly not going to win any prizes but it'll do the job i think but let's see if it fits according to the numbers we should be right about bang on and yeah oh yeah that feels good that's a nice fit i think we nailed it that's a success All right, I'm very happy with that. That is a success on the threads. Next, we need to get this thing sized for the headstock. Okay, this is our threaded end right here, and here is our mark that we just made. To get this mark, all that I did was to put a collet in the spindle and then thread the drawbar on a little bit more than halfway, then marked the drawbar where it popped out of the end of the spindle. That should give us a little bit of room in either direction so that we don't have to worry about getting real tight aerospace <laughs> tolerances on this length. This thing isn't going to the moon after all. What we do have to account for though is the length of our little adapter thingy here and the thrust bearings that sit behind it. So we will just add that to the length of our drawbar and we are ready to go.
How many of you caught that, saw what I did, or more accurately, forgot to do there? If you guessed that I completely forgot to add on extra length for the handle that needs to be pressed on to the shaft, well, then you guess right and you get a gold star. You also lose one gold star for not telling me sooner. I don't think that this is the end of the world. Well, I hope it's not anyway, but this is definitely something that is going to come back and bite us when we go to put all this together at the very end. We are going to have to contend with <laughs> this little mistake. As an aside, this is exactly what happens when you work without a drawing. It's always these little details that come back and bite you. And it's exactly these kind of little details that you catch when you have a drawing. Which brings us to the handle. Is it a handle or a hand wheel? This thing, spoiler alert, we are going to attempt to cast it. I say attempt because I have never cast anything in my entire life. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. But I really wanted to do something fun and interesting for this draw bar, and I thought that this might be that. Hopefully you guys think that it's interesting too. Casting is always something that I've wanted to try, but I've never actually gotten around to trying it. So we're gonna try it. Unfortunately, we have completely run out of time on this video and we are going to have to split this into two parts. I know I'm not happy about it either. I have just simply run out of time. I am legitimately sorry about that. However, on the upshot, uh, we will be back in two weeks. We will get this handle cast. We will get it machined. We will get all of this stuff put together. And hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll have a working draw bar. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> I know that I'm looking forward to it. So I hope to see you there. As usual, if you have made it this far into the video, thank you so very much. This channel is exploding beyond my wildest dreams, and you guys did that. Thank you, you're making a dream come true. If you aren't subscribed yet and you feel like I've earned it, give me a like and a subscribe. If you feel like I haven't earned it, let me know what I can do better in the comments down below. And with all of that said, until next time, get out there, make something cool. Most importantly, have some fun, and I hope to see you all again very, very soon.